Hey, this is Bridging Apps. So during the holidays, we know that you will have your loved ones, family, friends, close relatives around you, and you might want to share memories and old videos and pictures and just have some things that you can talk about and reminisce on old times. And one of the fun things that you can do with technology is you can actually take your phone and share content, videos, pictures, all kinds of things to your TV. You don't need a Apple TV, you don't need any other device, just a TV and your phone or an iPad. Just recently I had my family over and we were staring, we were all looking at the same little tiny screen and I said to my stepfather, hey, do you know that we can share that on the TV? He looked at me and said, how? And it was magical when we popped the video that he was showing me right up onto the TV. It was really cool. It was our TV, his phone, and he was amazed. The process for mirroring your Android phone is pretty simple. The biggest thing is just making sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi network. So here I have an Android device. I wanna go to the settings. So I'm gonna swipe up. I'm gonna go to settings. Just make sure that you're in within connections, that you are on the same Wi-Fi as your TV. So you always wanna confirm, confirm that first. And then this is different than on an Apple, rather than going into the home dashboard and choosing AirPlay or even the plus button that allows you to connect to mobile, you're simply just gonna to go to an app so if I was in Google and I wanted to share a YouTube video, I could simply just open the YouTube app and then I see the casting button. At the top, it looks like a little rectangle with a rainbow or for connectivity in the corner. I see a list of the TVs. I am going to choose the TV that I'm wanting to cast to and I notice YouTube is popping right up. That allows me, it says I'm connected to living room, and it allows me to just use my TV now as, or my phone as the remote for the videos that I want to watch. So if I wanted to watch this video right here, I can just click on it. I can add it to queue or I can click play and it will start playing from my this TV is in the living room. most humiliating moment. And the number 20. If you want to share photos and videos from your Android device, it's really quite simple. You don't need to go into the home dashboard. You just need to make sure that you are connected to the same home network for your Wi-Fi. You are then going to go to gallery, which is the red icon. You're gonna select the photo that you want to share on the large, on your TV. And then in the top, there is an icon. It looks like a play button with an arrow that goes to a left and an arrow that goes to the right. I'm going to select that. And then I see a couple of different options for sending information using Smart View. So I'm going to choose the first one which is living room. It says start casting with Smart View. I'm going to say start now. It's going to give me a one-time message on my phone. I'm going to use my remote and select accept. I then get another message on my phone that says invitation to connect. I'm going to choose accept. Give it a second and connecting on the living room. I can, it's asking about my aspect ratio. I can say, remember my choice. I can, knowing that I can change it. And there is the picture that I just took on my phone. It's a pretty cool option. I did not have to do anything in my dashboard on my TV. I just have to make sure I'm on the same Wi-Fi network. 
Another option that works similarly, and it's also inexpensive in turning your TV into a smart TV, is the Google Chromecast. Okay, I'm actually in my craft room right now. This is a smart, this is not a smart TV. This is an old Sanyo. It does have HDMI connections. It's not connected to cable. I'm using a little device, which is also very old or pretty old. It's a Chromecast um, and I'll pull it out after we're done with this video and show it to you. It powers the device and also connects to the TV at the same time. So I don't wanna unplug it quite yet. You see these beautiful landscape pictures. This is connected to Google. I've already set it up and I'm using the Google Home app to set it up, which I can show you once we're done. But again, this is another cool feature and you can use it with your Android device and also your iOS devices. So what I love about this one, and this is again, my little crafting room. So my kids will watch YouTube videos they will um, connect my computer to it actually. Um, but I can go to my Xfinity, which is my streaming service. And I'm gonna open that up. And I'm going to use Chromecast this time. So the button for Chromecast, the icon looks a little bit different, but I will just, is it uses the Google Home app so it's the second one with the um, home icon I'm not going to use it quite yet but that's what I would set it up with and um, what I really love about this is I could be in my um, little project room and I can put on Xfinity which I don't have a cable box in here I just have I'm trying to type with one hand I just have um, a, I just have Wi-Fi. So I can go to my Xfinity app, which is that second stream app, and I can literally stream. So I was watching halftime, like a halftime report, or if I want to put the news on, I am going to go to this, apologize, I'm trying to do this one handle. Um, I'm going to go to that button ants. right so, there, to find exterminators, electricians, and it says, and do you want to cast Thumbtack a project room? For I everything. sure do. I can check out reviews. It will tell me Xfinity Stream is loading, so anytime someone breaks, and on my phone, it will say casting to project room TV. It does take a second for it to come right up, but... This is a great feature for being able to share streaming on TVs that are not smart TVs. Um, again, when I purchased this, it was only about $35. They've upgraded them since. I can change the channels. Um, so I just tapped on a different channel and now I've got the news. We hope this has been helpful to you as you're in a season in life that you can sit down with your family, with your friends and loved ones. You can look at your own devices and share those videos and photos and make each other smile. Enjoy your time together.